First of all, I want to say thanks to Simul Canada of Amazon.ca for lending us this unit for review, and I'll be putting his link down below. Hello everyone, welcome back to Jerry's View. Today, we're going to unpack, test, and review the Feutech WG Lite, a wearable single access gimbal for GoPro Hero 3 and 4 series. Let's get started. In the box you will find a warranty card, a user manual, charger for the battery, two lithium ion 650 3.7 volt battery, a bag of uh, connectors which includes the uh, the uh, sticky mount where you, you mount it, the uh, surface mount, a micro USB cable, some adhesive, the, this is the firmware upgrading uh, USB, if you, if you need to upgrade the firmware you need to use this, and the clip or the mounting clip for the surface mount. There's also a cable included for uh, uh, video output, a mount for your wearables, because, uh, and then uh, there's a bag of the the lock and Allen key to to hold the uh, to hold the uh, GoPro, which is this one is going here that is the one that holds the GoPro and lastly the WG Lite single axis gimbal by the way the battery that is included to the uh, the package is actually a set of four or basically a set of two you need two batteries on on to to, to make it run and there's two sets of so let's take a look at the gimbal so here's the gimbal. It is made of aluminum or probably magnesium alloy and there's one motor which is a single axis. That's why it says single axis and it's wearable because most of the time you'll be putting it on a clip or a uh, maybe a tripod mount. So it basically just prevents the movement that 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 movement so you know if, if the camera is here so it's facing see, you right if your hand moves that way it, it will prevent it so basically that's it that is the the only help that, that that's the only help that you're going to get with this gimbal but if you move back and forth you're out of luck or you move from right to left turning on a turn you're out of luck because this only uh, I would think they call it yaw I think uh, they only it only prevents the yaw uh, so that is what you get for a single axis gimbal um, is it let, we will find out later if it is worth having it or purchasing a single gimbal um, so let's let's set it up. Let's put on the battery, and then uh, put on the uh, put the uh, camera, and uh, and then we can test it. Now, let's put the battery on the gimbal. So to put the battery on the gimbal, you need to unscrew this part. 
And once it's loose, pull off the cover and then just place the two batteries according to its polarity. So it's always spring is the negative and the flat, the, the flat part is the uh, positive. So just put it on and then the other one and then put back the cover and just slide it in should sure splash right there and then put the screw back and that is it now let's place the uh, the 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 mount or the bracket that will hold the uh, the GoPro so let's pull it out it's right here and it is right there so we'll put it in and then we can just slide in the GoPro and there you go so basically what you need all you need to do is now is slide a GoPro in camera in the middle what that's what I will recommend and then just tighten this to hold on to the uh, the GoPro Uh, I would actually recommend instead of using this kind of clip, I would use the J-hook clip, which has a longer neck. And there you are. So if you put it, let's say, on, 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 uh, on something, right? See, see here is the problem. You can see that if you use this kind of clip see the movement it will hit it but again how much movement are you going to do uh, i guess it depends on the user so i would definitely recommend using a j-hook for this one and then also with this supplied uh, connection you can put this here instead of this one you put it here and then you can put the the connector here so if you want to put it on your, your chest or something, you could use this. Now let's connect the GoPro and do some tests. We will be installing a GoPro Hero 4 Silver and we will be using a uh, selfie stick uh, just to hold the uh, one single axis gimbal. On my first comment, uh, that it is better to put the, the lens, make sure that the lens is in the middle. Seems like that is not possible with this unit because you can only put it on, uh, install it one way, which the lens would be on the uh, right side. Okay, now it's all tight. First issue that I'm seeing right away is that the lens or the, the LCD covered so you won't be seeing the LCD to frame your shot so basically it is it is a wearable it's you put it in your body it uh, it works as a single axis gimbal and you won't be framing any of the shots so let's install it here so we can hold on to it Now let's turn it on. So just press and hold. Interesting. There you go. So it's, you can see that it's trying to balance it. Uh, not sure if it's crooked or what, but uh, you know what, let's test it. Let's compare it with a three axis gimbal, see the difference and Let's uh, see what's the difference between handheld uh, videos. So we're going to test the gimbal the same way we tested the three axis gimbal, the G4. So let's get started. I am trying to walk as normal as possible and trying to keep my hands steady as normal person would keep his hand steady when using a camera. But you could see that the camera is, seems to be struggling trying to be level.
Now for the handheld. The handheld seems to have no difference at all, but let's see it side by side. And here you can see that the uh, the tilting is still there. Like you can see that the uh, the camera is tilting, but yes, you will see the bounce. I mean, there's a bit difference between handheld and and using the WG light, but it's not that significant. Now let's take a look at or compare it to the, the to the G4. And here at the G4, you could clearly see the difference between the two of the gimbals. The WG light is a single axis gimbal. And I'm not sure if Investing on this kind of accessories for your action camera would give you a great value for your money. I mean, as you can see with the side-by-side -side with handheld, the difference is not that great. I mean, it's, it's pretty much almost nothing. Maybe you get a 10% um, help with the stabilization, but comparing it with the G4, which is a three axis gimbal. I mean, it's like night and day. So for the price that you're paying for a single axis gimbal, is it worth the investment? In my opinion, not at all. I would keep my money, save some more, and get a three axis, or maybe if there is, a two axis gimbal. I hope this review helps. If I forgot or left something, or if you have any question, please leave it in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and I will see you again next time on Jerry's View.